Gordon, it sounds like you're not too hot on Tesla's future here. No, uh, I'm not that hot on Tesla's future. And quite frankly, we find it kind of ridiculous. I'm a financial analyst, and what I do is analysis. And if you look at what Tesla's done over the past, since their beginning, if you look at their free cash flow, as a business, you need to make cash. Last year, they burnt about $3.5 billion uh, in free cash flow. Last quarter, they burnt a billion. And everybody's focused on Model 3 production. And if you look at the numbers that came out from Business Insider, the numbers through June, if you do the math, suggest they're only producing less than 2,000 cars per week. They're targeting 5,000. Elon Musk has put out tweets suggesting they're at 3.5. So maybe the SEC should look into that. But we're not focused on any of that. The point is, do they make cash? Do they make money on cars produced? The answer is no. You did the, the montage of what they've done over the past few years. Let me give some statistics. In 2015, Elon Musk they were there, said they were going to be cash flow positive. They burnt $1.4 in cash that year. He missed those targets. In 2015, he said the Model S was going to have a, a, a gross margin of 25%. He said the Model X was going to have a gross margin of 30%. That year, they reported gross margins of 22%. I could go on and on. He's missed a lot of targets. He continues to miss targets. He continues to burn cash. I'm a financial analyst. I'm not an enthusiast. And, and for that fact, you got to look at the numbers, not not you know the man and be an enthusiast about a man. You have to look at the numbers. Trip, uh, given that he is such a big disruptor and that the company is so disruptive to the broader auto industry, do those classical financial uh, metrics that Gordon's talking about matter less in your eyes? I think uh, if uh, the investors followed Gordon's logic, Amazon stock should have been a two-dollar stock and never recovered. So what Tesla is doing is they are creating an industry just like Amazon has created the industry. It is vehicle production, it is battery production, it is software, it is autonomous driving, it is supercharging. Whatever Tesla is doing today has never been created before. All the naysayers were expert in the previous version of the industry and they are completely clueless in the new industry that is being created as we speak. Mike, I, I want to hear from Mike on this one because actually both of you, both Gordon and Tripp are yeah. making some pretty good points. True. Uh, <laughs> you, you really do have to have a tremendous amount of faith, though, in exactly how on top of it this whole big new industry that's being created this company is because right now they have not necessarily earned the benefit of the doubt that they can accomplish as Gordon was saying I mean two years ago they said this year was going to be I think half a million units produced it to be about half that I mean total units um, so I do think you still have to have a lot of healthy skepticism about all these things trip but what, actually if I can say uh, it, you go ahead trip I, okay think about it Tesla's revenues this year is going to be about 20 billion dollars People are buying Model 3s without even test driving it. When did you see any product people are buying which is worth, which is more than $50,000 without touching, without feeling, without driving? And not can only can that, this $20 billion, $20 billion in revenues is being generated by zero advertisement dollars. This is the power behind Tesla. No other company anywhere on the planet comes even close. Gordon, your response. But let me respond to that. So since Tesla's existence, we've had no competition. When I say competition, 100% battery electric vehicle with over 200 miles of range. Last year, you had the first car, the Chevy Volt. They, Tesla said in the first half of last year they were going to grow Model S and X sales by 66%. The number was only 7%. Why? Because Chevy Volt came in and took a bunch of share. This year we have the Jaguar E-Pace, uh, I-Pace, we have the Audi e-tron, we have the Hyundai Kona, and we have the Nissan Leaf. All cars 100% BEV with over 200 miles of range. For the first time ever, they're having competition. VW, uh, Dieselgate for VW, they're coming in with a bunch of electric cars. They have real competition for the first time. They're not creating a new industry. The auto industry has been around forever, and they have real competition for people who know how to produce coming in. You have to look at cash flow. You have to look at their ability to, to, to compete. You're basing everything on belief in a man. You're a financial analyst. You're supposed to look at the numbers and, and do analysis. Final word, Trent? You are looking at the wrong numbers. The number is to look, to look is revenues. How did they generate revenues? And what the backlog is? What about Question. cash flow? What, 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 if you don't what make any cash flow, how do you stay? How do you how do you remain what, as what, an ongoing about, entity if you're burning billions of dollars every quarter? How? A question for you. How do you how do you these stay in all business? Questions, if you're burning these all are these all are these all are irrelevant 
The only thing that matters that to the stock, what does that matter to the stock? Nothing. It, it has nothing to do with stock price. But it's not about price. stock price. What is, mm -hmm. what is, what money, matters for the stock, the stock price is, goes to zero. what matters for, the what matters for the stock is, are you an analyst? How big is the backlog? How big is the backlog? Show Let's me any of your competition personal. that you named, even if they have five cars in their backlog, none. Tesla has more than $14.5 billion in backlog. No company in any industry, anywhere on the planet, has that much backlog. Why? Because it's, you need to have multi-dimensional competency. That is, you should have capabilities and capacities in your production, in your supercharging stations, in your software. Think about it. People are talking about Waymo as an autonomous car. What you does it look like? Do you think you'll have that car in your garage? Nationwide. They look like a mm -hmm. reindeer. So basically, when you think about autonomous, it is individual autonomous cars, it is fleet autonomous cars, yep. and then urban density okay. cars. And there's only Just one company who has the foresight, software skills, and the intellect, and that is Tesla. You know, Rest it's a all, great don't even come close. Look at your competition you name. Do they have software okay. skills? No. Do they have superchargers? No. Do they have Gigafactory? No. <laughs> do they have a Trip, backlog? But do you no. realize they Which just competition recently canceled the charging network nationwide? nationwide? Gentlemen, we are out of time. Uh, thank you both, though, very much for joining us. Chip Chowdhury and Gordon Johnson. Sarah, you said at the top it is a battleground stock. It is, we and saw there are that so very many clearly. leaders out there. It's always been a and part of Tesla's of that, story. But to highlight that battleground, uh, we have a bull there with a price target of 485, the price today 342, and a bear with a price target of 93. Pretty exciting to have that kind of spread uh, in terms of such a, a majorly traded stock. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.